Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail, and today I have some outgoing Halloween Happy Mail. Now this is an advent calendar, and I hope I have enough. This is my first advent swap that I've ever done, so we were gonna exchange 13 things, and I think I made about 10 handmade items, and I'm gonna do three little packaged store-bought goodies, but I'm just gonna get right into it. I haven't numbered, wrapped, or numbered these yet, obviously, because I needed to show everything in the video first. So I have an embellishment box, the ones from the Dollar Tree hardware section. I've got some beads. These are like some little skull beads and some little clay beads or whatever these are. I don't know. I have some charms. I tried to put some shred in there so they wouldn't break those little bubbles. So we have... The little black sequin stars in there and then this little bow with the polka dots I thought were cute for Halloween I have some tassels that I got from Aliexpress these are all wrapped beads that I wrapped so I just have some beads in here some little wire wrapped beads I wrapped I like wrapping these because you can just do it while you watch TV so that's what I have in there I also have some wire wrapped beads in here but these are kind of like specialty beads I guess you could say so I have the pumpkin two different kinds of pumpkins this is like ceramic I have a candy corn I have the skull so just some wrapped beads to save her some time for her next Halloween swap for next year or whatever. Here's some bottle cap, um, hey pumpkin, bottle caps that I made. So if she wants to, she could, I had these up on pop dots, but she could take it off the pop dot and put a little epoxy sticker over that. I have some tickets and then this little clothespin I made with some holographic washi. I just Mod Podged it on there. I have some different gems in here. Here's some Kobachons. Is that how you say that? Whatever, Kobach. Yeah, these little resin pieces that I got off AliExpress, some ghost and some bows. Love those. Some little beads. These are just like faceted beads, I guess, but um, cute little monody crystal beads and some clothes pins. There. So let's count. That's one. I have a wand. I actually have two wands. I'm just going to show both. I haven't decided which one I'm going to give her and which one I'm going to get Mika, but um, I think I'm going to give Sammy this one and I'm going to give Mika the squishy one. So yeah, so I'm going to give Sammy this one and it's just a wand. Um, I got this rosette dye at Tuesday morning and I have some eyelash trim. Now this little rosette was actually white paper. And I used some different Tim Holtz dispra um, distress sprays and kind of stained it that orange with some black speckle on there. I have a layer of little glitter tool from the Dollar Tree, one of the felt spider webs. This is just a Walmart little spider that I glued some gems for the eyes. This is one of the spritz stickers back when the spritz stickers were good. And one of the die cuts here um, that I got at Tuesday morning, these awesome Tonic Studio dies. It says spooktacular. So that's two items. Oh, these are just the little tags. I made these tags on um, Cricut to be able to number everything. And this is a little desk caddy inspired by Amy L. So I um, used her tutorial. Tutorial. I didn't have my, I, I don't know, I like the look of the way this looks. Her little um, dividers went all the way up, but I kind of recessed mine a little bit. But I just have some bows. And these are just generic Halloween colors. Now, I thought I had a 12 by 12 hay pumpkin going into Halloween crafting, but I didn't. So I had to order it. So I'm using a mix of collections here. Um, the hay pumpkin stuff will come later. So I just have some rosettes. Um, some paper flowers. So just a little embellishment caddy there. I think there's one more flower. I really like this one. It's kind of funky. All right. So those are 
the embellishments that are in the embellishment caddy. Use that. This one. And bows. <laughs> Oops. Okay. That's three. This is four. This is a little backpack I made with a Bambi Deer. Um, or Bambi's Mail. I think she changed her name recently. Bambi's Mail tutorial. And I just used one of my paper flowers here. This is using the Hay Pumpkin line. And in there as a little goodie, I have um, some charms that I made. And it was kind of hard to get them to fit in there. This is terrible packaging, but just... So I have some charm dangles that I made. Now this is the little book charm. So I don't know if this is picking up on camera. This is the little book charm. And I used Scrap the World, I think, tutorial for that. And just put some beads that I had wrapped and a little dangle there. So I'm really, really happy with how these came out. It's really cute. This tiny little book is only one inch. And then I just have another little charm dangle here. Dangle, charm, I don't know what you would call this, a charm, a dangle. And it has the little bobble. And I put the bow on there, even though it's gold and everything else. I just thought it was so cute. So that's what I have in the little mini backpack. Like I said, I was struggling on what to put in there. And I was like, oh, I'll put the, the charms in there. But it was kind of hard to make them fit. So I kind of had to put it in a small bag. But I had some of these little three by five bags. So that's what I used and it was perfect. But it's kind of jumbled up in there but okay so that's four this is five I hope I have enough things okay I actually already got her box and it is ginormous but I said I wasn't gonna open it until I at least sent hers I honestly just haven't had time okay this is a basic traveler's notebook that I made and this is just a little tassel that I made with all kinds of ribbons and trims and it has one of these Tim Holtz little um, plates on the front and I just have some stuff here in the pocket so she'll know that's a pocket I have a line notebook this is a dashboard and all this comes out so like she can change this around move everything around to how she likes it she can move these dashboards around one of the notebooks this is just a page holder and I have used a cupcake topper to make a paper clip there. I just have a journaling card there. This is a Michaels paper clip from ages ago. And this looks to be a blank notebook that I actually made that notebook. And some little pieces of confetti from Walmart. Oh, Claude just came and laid on my feet and said I'm messing with the video. I think I just created six. My chair scared him. So this is number yeah, so I did 10. Okay, so this is number seven. This is one of the um, little totes inspired by Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventures. I did a florist swap with her this year, and it was amazing. She's an amazing, amazing swap partner. I'm just loving these little totes. They're really um, quick and simple, actually. It seems like it's going to be kind of hard, but it actually goes together really quickly. Now, I did have one that I messed up, and I put, I don't know why, I put extra tape here. And so I mess it up. So I definitely recommend making one with paper you don't care about um, first, just to make sure you know all the steps, because I wasted um, some hate pumpkin paper. And actually the thing I like about this is it doesn't take much paper at all, just a few strips of paper and like a three by five piece of paper. So really, really fun project to make. And in here I have included um, a little mini pocket letter. So it's just, I used hay pumpkin here and I love the holographic paper. I use the holographic stickers. I made some sequins mix. She said she likes the bats. So I put the bat here in the center and just some of the um, little ephemera pieces and some gemstones. And as her gift for these, it actually 
I might should take some out because uh, I said might should. Uh, I get that from my mom. I might should take some of those out. Okay. Handmade with Cheer by Sammy Crafty Teach because I sent her some Halloween ones, but she won't be able to use them right away. So I went ahead and just put um, some Christmas ones on the other side that so that she can use those um, in her upcoming Christmas projects. And then I have the Halloween ones. But like I said, I felt bad that she wouldn't be able to really use these until next year, probably. If, like me, she's going to be done with Halloween soon. Um, so I went ahead and just made some Christmas ones as well so she would be able to use those. I think I'm only going to put a few in the pocket letter because it was getting too thick. And I'm just going to put the rest. Let's see how the binder clip right there. I will binder clip these and just add them in the tote. And they came out different sizes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. But that's, it's, I mean, those are pretty quick to make in the little Cricut design space. And then I have in here just basically, I guess people call these chips or whatever. It's some um, of the ephemera that I have um, print and cut with my Cricut. So that's a bunch of little um, hay pumpkin pieces that she can use next year in her next Halloween swap. So just love these little totes. And I just have a little charm there, a little wire wrapped bead that I did. So stinking cute. How cute is that? I love it. Okay. Eight. Number eight. Now this, so Sam, if you're watching, I tried my glue that I got at, for some reason my Barely Arts glue was misplaced or whatever, and I tried some of the glue from Tuesday morning and this page buckled, so I apologize for that. But this is just a little mini embellishment book. This is the old Crafting with Liller tutorial that I did. Really um, easy book to put together, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. I just used some old Michaels collections. This is one of the Spritz chipboard stickers, I do believe. I used a paper flower that I made. This is in the Spritz chipboards, just some gems. I gave her some of the die cuts um, that I made with glitter paper with my die from Tuesday morning. I have some bows here. I realize I gave her bows twice, but seriously, I love getting bows. I love having bows that are already ready. It's such a, it's a, it's, it's a nice, I think it's a nice thing to include because everybody uses them. I have some sewn paper strips here. Um, these are some of my little shaker mason jars that I made with cardstock in the back and vellum and just stitched the sequins in. And she can and embellish those or leave them blank. I have some bottle cap paper clips here and some just bottle cap embellishments that she can either use in embellishments or embellish further or use them however she wishes. And then I have some of these wax seals that I made. So that's it for the embellishment book and then I made a washi wand this is a Sabrina Ann um, tutorial you know I haven't seen her post in a while I hope she's doing well I know it's been a tough year for everybody um, ooh, oh my gosh did you guys see that it was a fly and it scared the crap out of me okay yes we still have flies I realized yesterday I got bit by a mosquito and I'm like okay come on can it just get cold enough to kill all the bugs please so this is a washi wand, and these are just little thread spools. You can get these in the wood section at Michael's, but sometimes not every Michael's has these little finials to put on top. So you might have to go to Michael's and Joann's or two different Michael's. I found that I couldn't find both things at the same store, but I bought these way before the pandemic, so it didn't matter to me. Um, I'm trying not to shop during the pandemic, and I'm really probably not going to shop next year either. Um, just I have enough stuff and I just don't need I don't need to shop I don't need to be out there doing unnecessary trips but I really am happy with the way this came out and I put a little ribbon here now it's just on a jump ring so she could take this ribbon off if she doesn't want it or she could put um, a tassel or you know whatever she wants so I just put a little screw eye here that I have a little bead dangle some wire wrapped beads that I did and then this little I like having the little thing, but she can take that off because it's just on a jump ring. So she can just take that off. If she doesn't like that, she can put whatever she wants. She can put more beads. She could make a tassel. 
But I just think the washing one is such a great idea. So Sabrina Ann, thank you for that tutorial. I have made an altered frame. This is my last Ikea frame and I'm not trying to go to Ikea during the pandemic, but I might have to go and I'm going to buy like 20 of these frames. I love these frames. They're so cute for altering and they are lightweight. They are um, four by six. So they're fairly small. I used um, double sided paper. Um, so the back would still be cute as well, but I just you have used the holographic um, skeleton paper there, one of the chipboard frames that I have up on Pop Dots, and then I put this little um, Frankenstein guy also up on Pop Dots, and I used one of the little resin ghosts there. Some more chipboards here. This is one of the ephemera pieces from the collection, and this is a Tim Holtz little um, token. It says 31, so I was really really happy with the way that came out it's so cute um i didn't like the chalky texture so i kind of sprayed it with a with a polyurethane so it's kind of a weird but i like the creepy it's kind of like a creepy spooky imperfect um look and i really am digging it it's kind of sticky though so sammy i'm sorry it's kind of i didn't think that i don't know maybe shouldn't have sprayed it but i was like oh it's so i was afraid that just because it was acrylic paint it would rub off but I don't know it's kind of giving me this like distressy vibe I like it so really I just really thought that was cute and it's not like having something like you could leave this up in your house even though it's you know some stuff you keep in your craft room or whatever but this is cute you could use it in your room I love it I really should make myself one of these oh my gosh I made one for Mika and one for Haley last year but like I said this is my last frame and they're only a buck the frames are only a dollar y'all and um, you actually can get them on Amazon, but um, they're like three for 12. So actually my nephew needs to go to Ikea. I was like, if you go, please get me like 20 frames. But um, okay, so this is the last hand item, handmade item that I have. It is a suitcase using another um, Bambi's Mail, Bambi Deer tutorial and she sent me a really nice Christmas one so I really wanted to um, try my hand at it and it's so so beautiful actually no this is not a Bambi Deer I didn't use a Bambi Deer tutorial for this one this was a big one I will leave the video link down below it's one of the UK scrappers and her name is escaping me at the moment but I would definitely link that I saved the video to link down below um, but this was really really fun to make and I had a lot of fun putting it together so I just have used hey pumpkin and I use these little um, I made these little bows for the front to close and use some velcro dots and on the inside I just have um, made some kind of like holders in here so that I could put embellishments without them going all over the place and so I just slightly embellished these little pockets or whatever these little pockets I made. This is one of the confetti pieces from Walmart last year, a piece from the ephemera, and this is another piece from the ephemera just stacked on some paper from the collection. And I have tried to reuse some packaging. So these are the rosettes that I made using Hey Pumpkin and just some pieces from my stash. I'm loving these little resin bows. I gave her some of those in the embellishment box. These embellishments are inspired by Amy L. Crafts. So thank you, Amy, for the idea for these. Really cute, because I had all these bottle caps that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And so I made some little banners like she had made, and then I made a little cluster here that you could add on to like a little circle, or you could use for a bag topper. Um, just really cute. And I have some of the wire-wrapped beads that I did hanging down. So these have tassels. I guess I gotta put a tassel there too. But I gifted her some of the tassels, so she can use them, she can add them on. And these are the same um, tassels that I showed in the embellishment box. But they're just, I just cut them down to be smaller. So those were really easy and fun to make. And that's right there in front of my face. And so let's see what we have here. I have some shakers. Now I didn't have Hey Pumpkin and I had been dying to try these. So this is kind of like a Michael's collection. So sorry, it's kind of like incoherent there that I have one thing that's not Hey Pumpkin in this little Hey Pumpkin suitcase. But sorry about that. But this was a little die that I got off Amazon, but I believe they do have it on Alley as well. But it's way, obviously, read your specifications because it's smaller than I thought it would be. But I love it. So cute. 
This one I realized wasn't down, so I had to glue it down, and it kind of messed up, so Danny, I'm sorry. You had to put like a little flower or something there. It's not terrible, but it's uh, it's not the best either, but I don't have another one, so. Okay, um, that is the one from Michael's. The little paper, really cute. I just thought these were cute, how they came out. With the little bows again. Really cute. I try not to stress too much about my imperfections because it's still a handmade item. It's still beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect to be cute. So I'm loving those. I'll probably go back and add some sequins to these bags. I didn't have a right size bag for this for that. I'm sorry. But again, I reuse the packaging. I try to do that if I can. And I just have some of these bows. This was a... Um, die that I just picked up off Amazon. This is starting to come up, so I'm going to glue that down. This was a die I just got off Amazon. And then it went on sale for Prime Day, so boo. But I really, really love the die. I think these bows are, all three of them are really, really cute. All this stuff's coming up. Holy moly. I guess I could have taken the staples out. Wow, tacky. Okay, sorry, Sammy, but it's too late now. It's down. It's done. What's done is done. So that is it. I feel like it's totally not enough. Oh my gosh. I told her another reason why I didn't want to open her box is because I would stress and try to just make a ton more stuff. So I honestly just don't want to open it until... Um, <clears throat> I don't want to open it until hers is mailed off so that I can't stress and try to scramble and make more stuff. But I've also, I don't know, it's been a, it's been a weird, um, couple of months for me. I started off really strong on the swap and then kind of hit a personal setback and stalled out for a few weeks. And Sammy knows that. And it's hopefully this is worthy enough. I have a feeling I'm going to have to send her a rack in the future, but I did work. I mean, this is a lot of hard work, but I'm just afraid she's going to outdo me on this one. Okay, and then, so that is my 10 handmade items, and I have a couple little store-bought goodies here, so this was going to be one bag, this was going to be one bag, and this was going to be one thing, or whatever, and then I have a bag of Dots Home Style Pretzels, instead of candy, these are the bomb, I don't know if you've ever had them, but they're awesome, so I have some of the Target um, Puffy Stickers, which these are, who doesn't love these? Some of the little ghost tassels from Hey Pumpkin. And then some little ghosty socks here. And I think Claude grabbed them and tried to steal them. So I'm sorry, there's a little. He stole the socks. Haley got me my Halloween swap last year. It's hilarious. And now I still find that sock all over the house. Oh. That's really funny. I'm sorry, my chair is squeaking. But I really like these because it's like a little. Um, glittery ghost like it's like holographic or whatever little ghost there and then I just have one of these little cauldrons or it says treat pail when I the one time I made it to Walmart and this whole thing but I have some ribbon I have some orange ribbon I have some of the little confetti oh there's one other thing I gotta put in here I forgot some of the chipboards from spreads this year Okay, so the one on the embellishment book, those were from this year. So I gave her some of those. Surprised there would have been put in there, but that's... I thought instead of um, a little bag, the little cauldron would be a cute way to package up some goodies. And then I have this set from Recollections. This is actually from last year. I only went to Michael's... Um, well, actually I went like three times because I was trying to find a specific thing during the lowest prices of the sale season, but I just wasn't impressed with the Halloween that they had out at the time. They didn't have much, but they just, it just didn't have much. But this is one I, I had probably grabbed last year and obviously I didn't use it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give her that. And then I do have one other little store-bought thing and some packaging that I'm going to do, but that's not important. Mostly I just wanted you guys to see the, um, handmade items but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on anything, just leave them in the comments down below. 
and I will be um, happy to answer questions as soon as I can. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video.